Hi guys, welcome back to Toy Transformations. I'm so happy to see you again. Today, we're going to transform one LOL doll and one little sister into Regan, the girl from The Exorcist. This is going to be a really spooky transformation. We're going to make all of the details in order for our dolls to look super scary. But first, we have a ball to unbox, so come with me, it's unboxing time! Here's our LOL ball from the glitter series. Let's rip off this zipper so we can remove the first plastic layer. Here we're going to find the secret message. Let's see… Here it is! And our first collectible sticker says… Diamonds are forever! Let's continue! We're going to remove the second plastic layer because under it we're going to find our second sticker. Here it is! And it says that our Ellen will do can either cry, spit, tinkle, or change color. Let's keep going! We're going to remove the third layer. Here's our first surprise blind bag. Let's take it out to find what our first surprise is. Let's see… It's a white baby bottle with a black cap. Let's remove the next layer so we can take out the next surprise blind bag. Here it is! I'm pretty sure this one must have our doll's shoes inside. So let's find out if I was right. Let's see, let's see… Yes, it's a pair of black boots! Let's remove the last layer, guys! Under this one, we'll also find another blind bag. So remember to open this compartment that's on the top. Ok, let's take out a bag. Let's open it. And here we have the outfit for our doll! Oops, I dropped the top! But it's a top and a pair of shorts all covered in glitter! Wow, we have so many things here! Here's our LOL catalog. So here we have all the LOLs from the glitter series. Which ones are you missing? Tell me in the comments below! The next thing we'll do is to open up the first blind bag that was inside the bowl. And we got an amazing pair of sunglasses! They are so cool! It's time to open the bag with our doll inside! Yay! We got fresh! I love her hairstyle! Here we have the two dolls that we're gonna use for today's transformations. As you already know, we got fresh. Here she is with all her cool accessories and her amazing outfit. We're not really going to use any of them. We're basically going to make everything from scratch for both of them. So if you want to find out how to make them, come with me. Let's start! To make Regan's hair, we're going to use jute. So we're going to take a strand and we're going to divide it. And then we'll divide it again to make it look really messy and voluminous. So we're going to pull all of this jute on our doll's hair. But first, we have to paint it black. So we're going to use spray paint for this. Have you ever noticed that before getting possessed, Regan's hair was brown, but after that, it turns black? We have to make her skin look really horrible, as if she was sick. So we're gonna paint all her skin with this Liliac acrylic paint. She's going to look so creepy. And we're going to do the same with her little sister. So we're gonna paint all her skin with this Liliac acrylic paint. Make sure to paint her face as well. Just be careful not to paint her eyes. But before adding her hair, we're gonna paint her scalp with black paint. This way, it will look more natural. Just be careful not to paint her face. Now that we have the hair and her scalp painted black, we're gonna put some glue over here to stick on her new hair. And we'll keep doing this until her head is full of hair. We're going to paint the parts that are still white with black paint to make her color even. This little baby is already starting to look awful, don't you think? Who is it? I don't know. Once her scalp is completely black too, we're also gonna add the jute we painted black. So put some clear glue over here and stick the jute to it. Now we're going to take some air dry clay to make a couple of scars in her face. So grab a small piece and then turn it into a long thin strip and once you have it like that, put them wherever you want to. After that, we're going to paint all the scars with the same paint that we use for her face. So I just wanted her to have 3 scars, but you can put more or less, whatever looks best for you. 
Then we're going to paint some details on these cars with black paint. So fill the holes of these cars with black paint and then let them dry for a couple of minutes. Once the paint is dry, we're gonna add another layer of paint, but this time it'll be purple. Her scars are going to look so real. She's going to look truly awful. And finally, we're going to give these cars a red finish. So we'll add a coat of red acrylic paint after all the other colors we've already used. And we'll add a couple of scars to our little sister as well. So take a little bit of modeling clay and turn it into a small oval. Then I'm going to put it on her cheek, but you can choose any part of her face. Once it's there, we'll take Liliac acrylic paint and we'll start to paint this car so it looks like it really is part of her skin. You can make more than one scar, but I think just one is fine because her face is really small. Then we're going to start making the details of this car, just like we did with the Ella wheel. First, we'll paint a line right in the middle of this car with black acrylic paint. And then we'll add a purple one. And finally, we're gonna make one red. Are you? So now we'll start to make her clothes. We're gonna take a piece of modeling clay to make her hospital gown, which is basically like a long dress. So cover all her body with the clay and keep molding it with your fingers. Then we're going to put our doll with her hospital gown and this piece of fabric. And we're gonna trace the gown with a pencil. After this, we'll fold the fabric in two and we'll cut it out with scissors. And here we have the two pieces that we need for her hospital gown. So now we're gonna put some clear glue over the clay to stick the fabric to our doll. This way her clothes will look more real. Then we're gonna cut the extra fabric of the sleeves that we won't use. Now we have to make the fabric look old and dirty. So we're gonna put a little bit of gray paint on this brush and we're gonna paint some dirt stains all over the hospital gown. Okay, after that we're gonna grab a piece of black ribbon and we're gonna cut it in two in the middle. Remember to be careful with your fingers and if you're having any troubles, ask for the help of your grown-ups. We're gonna grab our new ribbon that we cut in half and we're gonna paint it white with acrylic paint. Remember to paint both sides of it. Then we're gonna cut two strips out of this white fabric. Make them extra thin. You don't actually have to use lace for this. You can use any other kind of fabric. Just make sure it's white. And we'll put some clear glue on the chest of the hospital gown to stick down the strip of white fabric. We'll put the first one horizontally and the second one will be like a suspender. So we'll put it on her shoulder. Now we're gonna take black paint and a modeling tool like this one to make the bottoms of the gown. You'll just need to paint a line of small dots right in the middle. After that, we're gonna take a lace like this one and we're gonna tie it around her wrist to make the details of the cuffs of her sleeves. She has a special kind of sleeves that allow other people to tie her to her bed. Now we'll start to make the outfit for our little sister. For her, we're gonna use her dry clay. So take a piece of clay and cover the whole body of her little sister with it. Make sure to cover the back as well. Then we're going to paint all her new hospital gown with white acrylic paint. Just a thin coat will do. Remember the other half of her ribbon? Well, we're gonna use it now. We're going to cut it in half again to make it thinner. So grab your scissors and start cutting. And now that it's super thin, we're gonna paint it white again. We needed to make this one extra thin because we're gonna use this one for our little sister. We'll make dirt stains on her gown as well, so we're gonna grab our brush with gray paint and we'll start painting some all over the air dry clay. Now we're going to stick some of the strips of white fabric that we made to the gown. 
So first we'll put some clear glue over the part of the chest and then we'll start adding the strips. We're gonna make the bottoms of her gown the same way that we did with the ones for her little sister. So grab a modeling tool like this one with a little bit of black paint and paint a line of tiny dots right in the middle. After that we'll take another white lace and we're gonna tie it around her cuffs to make the details of her sleeves. She's looking really great, right? Really horrible. We got to change the color of her eyes now. We're going to use a very bright shade of green like this one and we're also gonna use a modeling tool for this. Try to follow the lines as much as possible. Our little sister already has her eyes green, but we're gonna paint them with green acrylic paint anyways to make them look brighter. Use a modeling tool or a needle for this step. And we're also gonna outline the eyes of our little sister with black paint and an extra thin brush. Be careful not to paint her eyes! Now we're going to give her skin a more realistic finish with pale pitch acrylic paint. This way her skin will look weird, but she will still look human. Just be careful not to paint any of the details that we made, like the scars or the area around her eyes. And we're going to do the same for our little sister. Remember that you have to paint all of her skin, not just her face. So we're also gonna paint her feet, her hands and her legs. Then we're going to outline her eyes with black paint and an extra thin brush. We're about to finish guys! Wait just a little bit more. Once the paint is dry, we're gonna grab our doll again and we're gonna paint her lips with a dark shade of red like garnet. You can also use a modeling tool for this if it's easier for you. With the same garnet acrylic paint that we used for the lips of our LOL, we're gonna paint the lips of our little sister. And for the final touch, we're gonna add a coat of clear nail polish to the eyes of her LOL. She's going to look fierce! Are you ready to see the final result or are you too scared? Look guys, here's Dragon, the girl from The Exorcist! She looks so scary! Her hair looks so wild, just like in the movie. I'm sure you can scare some of your friends with this doll. Let's go back to our little sister because she's almost ready to. We just need to apply a thin layer of clear nail polish over her eyes and that will be it. And here we have our horrible little dragon. Her hair is so amazing as well. Of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Damien! <sighs> And she was really easy to make! I love the fact that her skin looks really similar to Regan's skin in the movie, all flaky and sore. Here we have today's transformations together, guys! They're both really scary! Here's her LOL customizes Regan from The Exorcist! Her hospital gown looks so old and tattered just like in the movie! And it has all the little details like the cuffs! And by her side is a little Regan! She looks identical to her big sister! We did such a good job with the scars on her face! They look really creepy! Which one do you think is the scariest? If you like this video, please tell me in the comments which one was your favorite! Also, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos! We love you so much! Bye bye! Oh,